So what's up YouTube, it's JeffMan316, your pop culture reporter, coming to you with what's going to end up being my very first trailer reaction video. Um, I was busy making a custom figure today and then noticed the time and forgot that they were releasing uh, the trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong today. So I stopped, pulled out my phone, and started watching it. About 30 minutes, I mean 30 minutes, 30 seconds into it, dude. I thought it was so epic that I had to go upstairs, put it on the big TV, turn up the sound, listen to it, watch it. Um, it's got some epic moments in it, and I was so jazzed afterwards. I was like, forget this, dude. I'm going to go down and record a video. N never done it before. Don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, got to start somewhere, though. So um, before we get into my reaction to the video, if you do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I uh, truly appreciate the support you've been giving me, and hit the notification bell, and you'll be the first to know when I post more uh, movie reviews and trailer reaction videos. Um, so with that being said, um, let's get over, and uh, I'm going to start up the trailer, and we'll watch it together. Let's go! So, uh, not going to get too detailed into this. I want this to be a quick video, but I just want to let everybody know um, before, in case that way you could see my reaction, um, I'm a big King Kong fan. Um, all the way back to the, I grew up on the 70s, and even though that movie may have some cheesy effects in it, I really love that movie, and I think it, the story's pretty strong. And I liked Kong Skull Island way more than the two Godzilla movies. Um, I'll give you some reasons why as we react to the video afterwards, but um, let's go ahead and get started. Three, two, one, go. So you got some epic explosions, somebody causing some chaos in the world. And there you see Kong on a barge of some kind or a battleship. So you kind of see the size of him. The world needs him. The world needs him. Looks pretty big, like he's a lot bigger than the in the first one. She's the only one who communicate with. This is my only concern about adding all these extra characters, like the little girl with the connection to Kong. How's it going to be? Is it going to convolute the story, like in the Godzilla King of the Monsters? In some way, Kong did the same. Kong's getting anxious, man. He feels it coming. Here it comes. Kind of looks like Jaws coming. Boom. We're attacking him, doing no good. So everybody's wondering, are you going to get that epic scene with the two of them fighting on that ship? You're going to find out. Yeah. It's Godzilla. No shit. Crawling up on board. And here it is. This is an epic moment right here. I like the music. Whew, that's awesome. That's an epic moment right there, him jumping off that ship. These are dangerous times. And so I wonder who those guys are. It's cool they're bringing back the characters, obviously, from the last movie. And there's obviously something going on that we don't, we might not be aware of. And I like the fact that it looks like they're referencing like the ancient times when the when the icons or whatever you want to call them battle. It says it's only the, they're the last few standing though. Is that Rodan? I can't tell. Kong bows to no one. No, we don't. Boom. Boom. That's pretty epic. An awesome way to end the trailer. All right, so what would you guys think? Um, I thought it was pretty damn epic. Um, I can't wait to see it. I think it comes out um, in theaters and uh, on HBO Max March 26th of this year. So we got like two months to wait. Um, so let me just go ahead and give you uh, some of my thoughts. The um, Of the three films, you know, like this guy Godzilla, of the new uh, series of films you got, the original Godzilla, which I thought was kind of poor, it was, what, it was about two hours worth of movie and maybe a few minutes of Godzilla with that one battle against a creature that I don't even know who it was. 
um, then you had Godzilla King of the Monsters, which to me was over. Like they swung the pendulum the other way and they had way too much stuff in the movie and it was overcomplicated. So then you have got this one. Now, obviously, you uh, Kong is a Kong Skull Island, but that was based in the 70s. So nothing in present day from Kong so far. So this will be the first time we see him. Um, I was worried at first because of the size of the two. And I guess they'll either dress did Godzilla shrink a little or I'm guessing Kong over the years, you know, because like I said, it's been a while since um, since we've seen that that version of Kong in a movie um, has grown in size. Maybe the, um, you know, the Earth's radiation or whatever that affected Godzilla in the last one will make him grow. Not sure. We'll see. Um, then also, I was worried about uh, Kong and, and uh, is he powerful enough? I mean, because it's all basically brute strength. You know, when he get basically, it almost looked like a, uh, uh, a fighter getting pumped up there when he just basically, you know, got ready and braced himself. Um, I thought that was pretty awesome from the trailer uh, got me pumped up. Cause like I said, I love that character, but um, is he going to be power enough to fight Godzilla and be a realistic battle? Um, then I've seen a, a, an action figure, you know, I tried to stay away from spoilers because um, I'm really looking forward to this, but I saw an action figure of Kong and it had some kind of weapon with it. So I thought maybe he had forged like some kind of hammer or ax or something out of a, um, you know, a piece of um, the armor, you know, body armor of Godzilla. So that's still an option, I guess. But uh, you you do see he's got some kind of weapon, and maybe that's what it is. But when he goes up at the end of that trailer and comes down, uh, that was pretty awesome. So I guess that's going to be one way that he can overpower Godzilla. But um, also, I was worried about, you know, the backstory between the two they mentioned. I'm assuming... Uh, they've had, they've been involved in some kind of battles, you know, it looked like in that one point in the trailer, they did something with like the ancient battles with Godzilla fighting creatures. Couldn't tell if that was just like, you know, Rodan or some type of creature like Rodan that was fighting him back then or now, um, you know, flash so fast. But, uh, what happened to all the creatures at the end of Godzilla King of the Monsters? If they're referencing that it's coming down to the two of them then, or was it now? Then if it was now, what happened to all the creatures at the end of that movie? So um, that does kind of have me worried. Like, is it just going to be a battle between the two of these because there's the title characters? But um, after watching it on the TV, I went back and watched it again um, right before I did this reaction video and paused it a couple of times. Uh, I've got a feeling that there's going to be somebody controlling Godzilla or there's going to be somebody else that's going to be involved in this battle somehow. Because I don't think that it was Godzilla that was causing that destruction at the very beginning. I've got a few screenshots I'm going to put up. And it looks like that there was something mechanical or electronic or something that was a, a large scale that was doing something. So I'm wondering if there's somebody in control of Godzilla. Like they said, they you know they don't know why he's doing this. Um, and then hopefully at the end, the two of them have to come together and fight as a team to fight off whatever's going on. Because, um, I hope that this isn't like weak sauce, as they say, like, uh, movies that have put pit epic icons together, kind of like Freddy versus Jason. It was a cool, a couple cool moments in that movie, but most of the movie was them separate and then coming together for that one, you know, basically one fight scene. I don't know. I hope they have some really epic moments in this, uh, but that leads into the the only negative I have, and it's ne nothing negative against the movie. It looks like my only negative is going to be I probably personally won't be able to see this in theaters, and this looks like one of the first movies that I'm going to be disappointed that should be watched on the big screen. I highly doubt that I will be able to get out by March in my local area to see this, so I'll be watching it on HBO Max. It didn't really bother me because I wasn't that big of a fan of Wonder Woman 84. Check out my review of that. Um, but I'm really going to be disappointed that I probably won't be able to see this in theaters. Uh, you never know. Hopefully things will make a you know turn for the better here soon. But um, like I said, I really am jazzed. This, this, this trailer's got me psyched up. Like It's been the first time I've been psyched up to see a movie in quite a while, whether I watch it home or in the theaters. What do you think? Do you think this movie is going to be an epic scale like whoa? like it uh, seems to be, or who are you pulling for? I'm obviously, um, you know, I'm a big King Kong fan, fan of the 70s, even though it was kind of cheese um, with the special effects. I love that story, but I've grown up as a fan of uh, King Kong. Hopefully he will be the king in this, because uh, there can only be one king, um, and I hope he gets the tag of King Kong and not just Kong. So uh, 
really jazz. So sorry to, sorry to ramble, but um, let me know what you think. Leave, give me the thumbs up on this video. Leave some comments below. If it's your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Um, and once you subscribe, it's real easy to do. Just come on, hit, hit the button down there and right beside it, go ahead and hit the, uh, notification bell. You know, you can, it's so simple. You know, you want to do it. And that way, when I post more reaction videos like this, you'll be the first to know and you can come over and check them out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great start to your new year. And this is Jeff Man 316, your pop cultural reporter signing out saying, you guys be safe out there.